It's me, Vic73, and welcome to a brand new vlog. Today, I'm out in Annecy, which is on the border between France and Switzerland. As you can see right here, not too far from the Alps, you can probably see some cool mountains. In the backdrop, I'm out here with Ubisoft, and I'm going to be heading to the studio for their new game, Steep, which is an extreme sport, skiing, snowboarding, paragliding, wingsuiting, literally flying, squirreling, um, simulator game, and uh, we're going to be doing some cool activities related to the game, including a wingsuit simulator later today, tomorrow some skiing and snowboarding up in the Alps, then moving on to some paragliding, hopefully, if the weather permits, on the third day. So it's really exciting to be out here. This is going to be either a vlog or a series of vlog depending on how much cool stuff we get up to and uh, I'm just gonna be bringing you guys along on the whole kind of journey. The whole point of this trip is just to have a fun time to create some cool experiences and share all of that with you guys. It's a really beautiful setting as you might have picked up from the backdrop of the video and yeah um, it's good to be vlogging again. I love kind of doing this whenever I'm out and about and uh, hopefully we should get up to some cool stuff. And this is one thing I love about traveling. You always find interesting stuff. So right behind me, right here, we have this. This is a slide, as far as I can tell, straight into the lake. Even in summer, who would want to go down that? It's got to be absolutely freezing in here. Another thing is the mountain water, glacier water. Check this out. Look how clear that is. It's literally transparent water. Nothing bad going on there. And then you look out into the distance. Got the mountains over there, the clouds that literally like hang in the mountains. It's a very, very cool setting to start the day today. Here we go, we got the drone ready to go, charging up some batteries. This is what the place looks like in the summer. It looks even more blue on that water because it reflects the blue sky. Again, you can see from out of this window, that is where I was walking around. So again, really, really nice scenery out here. Let's go and catch up with the other guys on the trip. So we're about to head to the studio and who am I with? I'm with a load of Australians. They've come from halfway across the world. Well, Lachlan was already here. Sorry. We've got Miola, we got the Aussie game, we've got Max Mofo, we've got anything for views. And we have our beautiful uh, host from Ubisoft along with us for the journey. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And uh, this is the uh, gameplay programming and uh, presentation user interface team uh, from a development perspective and also from a uh, UI art perspective. So these guys, in a nutshell, we have also the game designers here. The lead is not around, uh, said David, but the gameplay programming team is the team that basically uh, make all the uh, user facing developments that really brings and the smoothness, the 3C, the way we talk about 3C, about character, camera and control, which is the heart of the game. So we've just been on a tour of this whole studio and it's super cool to see how all the different people kind of fit together from, you know, coding to artwork to multiplayer to level design. Everything, all the teams kind of sat next to each other that work together and it's a 360 studio with kind of views of the mountain the whole way around and I'm going to give you guys a quick 360 tour of uh, this whole little area. So obviously they were working on a game set in the mountains and that's exactly where the studio is. So there's this 360 degree walkway around the uh, whole studio you can do right here again. And actually I'm, li I'm walking around the wrong side. I'm just showing you the size of buildings. But if I'm correct, once I get around this corner, you'll get some more buildings. But don't worry guys, the view is coming up. And here we go, we get around this corner and you can see in the background literally the mountains the game is kind of based on and set in out there in the background. So where better to develop a game like this? This is my favourite hotel. I like to stay at the police hotel with all the police. <laughs> with bars <laughs> it's, it's actually a prison. <laughs> is, is that a prison? So we are now on our way to a wingsuit simulator place. We wouldn't actually let us do real wingsuiting because we'd probably die if we did real wingsuiting. So I think the idea is that we go in like the flying squirrel suit and we hover on like air up in the sky. And I'm, I'm getting paparazzi here. Check this out. Check this out. Camera's just up here. 
and and Lachlan was asleep until uh, the cameras appeared. You can't sleep, Boy. but uh, yeah, we are gonna go and become <laughs> flying squirrels basically. And we also signed away our lives earlier. We're like, if if we die, it's it's our own fault. No, we get insurance money. We get insurance money. Okay, we get insurance money. It's like a um, daily revenue. Right. I, whoever whoever comments first on this video, you can have my channel. Peace out. They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Sighting of the wingsuit simulator machine. That's it. <laughs> right there. That thing jet blasts you and you just you just float. Like, Pick up the uh, drone, courtesy of its uh, grass uh, stain from when I crashed into the floor last. Nice Hopefully work. Hopefully, lock enough to crash into me when I'm flying up there, get some close up shots. But uh, yeah, it's looking, looking good. We've got a triple battery set up. Bam, bam, bam. Light them up. Get ready to jump. France became a flying squirrel. That's your dance, fly so high. Yeah. That's it, mate. Woo. That was a good intro, dude. Uh, it was a very good intro. So, this is what we're going to be doing literally becoming a flying squirrel like this guy. Are you ready to fly, mate? Dude, it goes so much faster when you're down here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Woo. That was unbelievable. My heart going like crazy. I couldn't flip at first, but when I started going, I was going. Woo. I think the uh, like running yeah, in that air fire. That was going. Flipping it, flipping is ridiculously hard. I thought it'd actually be oh, easy. <laughs> that was unreal. My heart's still going now. I think if you saw that, you'll probably understand why we're not allowed to really wingsuit. So we probably just hit a mountain or a tree. Again, so All right, Chad didn't skydive wingsuit, so instead right, he's proving his manliness. Hey, you gonna go. Nah, go for it, man. Oh, thanks, thanks, mate. Come on, Martin, <laughs> Martin. Try beat him, Martin. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. oh my god. Out to a hunt some snow. Does anyone know where we're actually going? The area? Tignes. Tignes. <laughs> no, I think it's pronounced time, time. Which, which makes so much sense. Um, but yeah, apparently there's some snow there. Because here we ain't got much. We got like green trees and stuff. But it should be good. So we have now arrived at the hotel. There is snow. It's been almost a year since I last saw much snow. So we are here, and it's looking pretty good. So, They've got the same uh, Bernard. Is he, is that what? Uh, is that the breed of dog? Yeah. It's huge. Are they like they're the rescue dogs, aren't they? So if any of us get stuck out on the slopes, he'll come and save us. Hey, Lachlan. He's huge. <laughs> what a guy. I'm interviewing you on the spot. That was your first time seeing snow. Oh, uh, it felt like I scraped some ice out of my freezer. That was about. Oh wow! So like that <laughs> on a grand scale. It's just it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I get it. I get it. Cause cool. Cause cause cold snow oh, ice. Oh, excellent. Great time, dude. <laughs> So here's the uh, weather forecast for tomorrow, and it looks it looks decent to me. And check this place out. So this is me for tonight, and there's actually like a little balcony thing. So I think these are actually meant to be kind of like little lodges that people like stay in. Like I guess it's actually like a ski chalet. Got a fancy rug, chill area, bed. I'm assuming this is uh, the uh, bathroom. Jeez, this thing's huge. As if I'm only here for a night, this is like I could stay here for a week. So, uh, yeah, we are now checked in up in the mountain. So, we're gonna go to the ski shop to get our uh, equipment and stuff. 
Mine, I left, um, not at home, I left it at like, my hometown, hometown. So, we're gonna have to get some more of that. I've got my jacket with me, which is the main thing. And tomorrow we're gonna be doing some skiing. Probably not boarding for me, I can only ski. And that should be fun as well, all morning. This is the first, it's a fake candle. Look, that's just like a piece of paper with like a light shining at it. Got some fake candles, but the rest is all very nice here. If it ever focuses, there we go. Real nice chill space down here. This is so cool. I want to this so bad. You expect there to be like candy canes like yeah. coming out of the snow. Yes, <laughs> we're getting equipped and then look, I found Lachlan. We'll get him this, yeah? I think you should rock it. If I bought it for you, would you wear it, Lachlan? If I had it in your size? Sure. I bet I bet that thing costs like a thousand euros. Yeah. Awesome. Fifteen hundred euros. Fifteen hundred euros, Lachlan. <laughs> For the meme, like it's tempting, but fifteen hundred euros. Okay, so uh, I've been watching a bit of a uh, bit of anime, a bit of One Punch Man recently, and uh, Lachlan has got me ready for my final trial in this. He says it's snow. It looks like ice. No, it's snow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying, isn't it? Here you go, right. Vic. Here we go. Here we go. One Punch Man. <laughs> That was pretty sick, actually. It's all done, mate. There's still, there's still a lot of it left, though. Another one! Uh, Round two! Uh, wow. Slaps. And another one! Uh, oh, yeah, that was a... Fuck! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time! Ready? <laughs> Let's do it! 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 Let's do Insanely good. Look at that. That's a scoop. And here we go. These are going to be my skis for tomorrow. Then I got my goggles in there. Actually, no, wait. These are my skis. The ones on the right with my poles. So I need to move this helmet. Ooh. Not everyone is going to fit their helmet and things on here. There we go. That's me right there, safety first. And here we go, my equipment is ready for tomorrow. Solar pairs, gloves, didn't go for the mitten ones, went for fingered ones, so I can actually use my cameras and stuff. Got my GoPro charging down there. I need to get this drone on the charge. Yes, my stuff is a massive mess right now. And then I've got my uh, jacket right here, which is an awesome jacket, I love that jacket. So, we're gonna be good to go. We also actually got a gift from Solomon, so let's see what's in here, open it up. I think I've got like a checkered shirt here. Hey, what's going on guys? Scar's here. Absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, that's like literally like that. He could rock that. I could rock that. And we got a, um, a beanie. Again, pretty good. The lighting in here is pretty dull. We've got, ooh, and another jacket. What color is this? It's like uh, blue and black and yellow. Uh-huh, you know what it is. Ah, so it's actually reversible. It is a coat on both sides. So you can literally pull it inside out like that. And then you've got... If I grab this, this camera work is incredible, isn't it? Now, you have yourselves a yellow jacket. Magic, magic stuff. And it even has a scale. I was like, how waterproof is it? Here we go. It is about a three out of five on the waterproofness scale. Is that, wait, is that like, why are there two things? Oh, one side's more waterproof than the other. Is that how it works? I don't even know, that's confusing. Explain if you understand. <laughs> Alright, who else wants to add some questions to this? Can you turn that light off? <laughs> this one? Yeah. It's, it's like no potatoes. It's lit, it's lit! Like, potatoes are good and all, but how do you make a potato better? You just go straight in. <laughs> Falkland's lost it in the cheese. No, I lost some cheese, I don't know where it went. Alright, and here we go. Cheese plus potato equals oh my wing, I think. Wait, is it gonna burn me? Is it gonna burn my mouth? Nah, it's cool, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> Look at these guys battling. Nick, you're like a connoisseur. You're like using both utensils. I know exactly what I'm Oh, look at that. That's a lot of cheese. So guys, that is it for day one in the Alps. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Seeing what I got up to today, again, that wingsuit simulator was awesome. Almost tempted me to want to try it in real life, um, like the real thing, but that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Maybe from like a helicopter or something. Who knows what I'm going to end up doing in the future. But the uh, next vlog, uh, tomorrow's vlog, uh, well, well actually what I'm doing tomorrow will be in the next vlog. I'm not sure when that will be out, but that will be a lot of fun on the ski hill. Um, skiing, seeing some uh, like professional trick skiers do stuff and just having fun with that and then heading back to Annecy. So uh, that is tomorrow's plan. Again, huge thanks to uh, Ubisoft for bringing me out on this trip. And uh, like, I check out their student, all that great stuff. 
And uh, that is it for this one. See you on the next one. Thanks and goodbye. Yeah.